going to go back to buddy Michael in Cleveland, Ohio, and we're going to help him and many others that live in Cleveland, Ohio, find a qualified bank that offers a personal line of credit. Let's see what we come up with, right? Now, I'm going to go by my own rules and standards of, of what I've been teaching all these. There is a video I did called The Rule of Leverage. I'm going to copy and throw it in my chat box real quick, and that's gonna be on the screen. Take that, that's in the chat. Breaks it down even further, okay? Then, we got this playlist here, all about the line of credit. I want you to watch these videos all about the line of credit. There's a video in here, the right line of credit in 2024. Actually, it clicked on the wrong one. Let me go back, but we're gonna go to the whiteboard real quick. Here are the six steps. I'm gonna go by what I've said in the past in my own videos, and we're start with step one, Google credit unions in your state. Michael gave me, I type credit unions, Cleveland, Ohio. <clears throat> We're gonna find a qualified bank that offers a personal, revolving, unsecured line of credit to do velocity banking with. We're gonna look for a personal line of credit in the 10% or lower range. Many of you settle for 13 and 15 and 16% right now in today's environment, but I'm gonna prove to you that with just a little extra research, really anywhere in the United States, we can find lower rates. Sometimes, depending on who you are in terms of your career, if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you're part of a union, if you're a firefighter, police officer, military individual, you will sometimes get better rates for banks that cater to you specifically because of the type of service that you do for the country and including government employees. For everyone else that does not have a service type of a, of a job or career that's in service to the United States, you may not experience those discounts. If you are part of a major corporation, big, big corporation, sometimes they themselves have their own credit unions or banks, and you can find really, really good deals. So that is just little tips there for you. Now, when we go to the bank's website, we're always going to go under borrow, lend, that's typically where we can find their products. I'm telling you right now, they do not promote these tools of what I'm teaching you to find. So you're going to have to dig. You're going to have to call. You're going to have to inquire. And even when they say we need to run your credit, you just simply say, can I talk to the manager? Can, I, can you get me in touch with the HELOC department? You're going to have to pull teeth. You're going to have to ask more questions because they are not trained to give you the goods right away. All right. When we are in research mode, we are not applying for anything. So notice how they do have a personal signature loan. I don't see anywhere clearly that BFG Federal Credit Union offers a personal line of credit. I don't see it anywhere. So then I go to loan rates and see if it is shown in here. Typically under loan rates is when you can find all of their tools. They have a checking overdraft protection at 15%. That is like a line of credit, but so far in my research, I'm going to declare BA, BFG Federal Credit Union a bust. Okay. Now, for those that are looking at home equity line of credit in Cleveland, Ohio, they do seem to have a home equity line of credit. And look at that rate, 7.99% prime at 8.5%, no application fee, no annual fee, no appraisal fee, no closing costs, 80% LTV, 10 year draw, 0.51% below prime. So if you were looking for a HELOC in Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, boom, BFG Federal Credit Union, put it on your list. Let's keep looking for Michael. <clears throat> we got a bank called Steel Valley Federal Credit Union. We'll go straight to rates, signature loans, visas, and lines of credits. A plus credit score, 730 or higher. So boom, this bank, Mr. Michael, Steel Valley Federal Credit Union, I would put on your list to call. Now, what is stated on their website may not always be accurate, so we always need to call. We don't see a personal line of credit anywhere. But in this column right here, it says line of credit. So they might have a personal at 10% if your credit score is A plus rating. Everyone else, this is what they settle for. This is what many of you settle for with your PLOCs and didn't know this existed if you would have just took a couple more months 
improve your credit score. And there's ways to do that. So Steel Valley, right? I'm gonna start erasing my board a little bit, put a little list together, right? Because what does it say in my steps? Click on bank website, look for borrow tab. And that video was talking about the home equity line of credit. In this video, we're, we're doing both, right? We're looking at PLOC. So, so far we've been Googling, Googling. We found Steel Valley. They potentially may have a HELOC at 10%. As I mentioned earlier, if you're someone looking for a personal line of credit in 2024, you are typically going to find PLOCs in the, in the double digit range. My goal for you is to find those PLOCs at single digits or right at 10%. That's about the best we're going to be able to find unless you have a particular career like military and you might get an extra point, two point discount. We are now on Greater Cleveland Community Credit Union. I went under personal loans. Under personal loan is where you will typically find the line of credit because the line of credit in the bank's eyes. So when you talk to the teller, they can't distinguish the difference between a personal loan and a line of credit. So you have to make sure you're using the right language. You have to use their language. I'm looking for a signature line of credit at Greater Cleveland Community Credit Union. Do you still offer this product? Signature line of credit. The maximum unsecured loan amount is only 10 grand, okay? So they do have a line of credit, but it's only for 10K. Not a big difference. Not a, not a whole lot of value there. Seem to display the rate. They have an overdraft line of credit. Again, these, these are tricks. You don't want those. I tend to stay away from them. Greater Cleveland, what is going on? We're gonna put Greater Cleveland because you're trying to find, you're trying to simply find the, the rate, right? We're just trying to gather information. That's all. We're not applying for anything. We're just trying to gather information, right? You know what's crazy? <clears throat> Even if you weren't doing velocity banking, working with a local credit union is still extremely valuable in the event you're looking for loans you're looking to borrow money like finance a home like i'm telling you there's so much better options out there as it become as it as it relates to just being a better borrower right so even if you aren't doing velocity banking at all let's say you're just like i don't really want to do velocity banking i'm like great build a relationship with a credit union that's valuable in and of itself that isn't taught too much in the marketplace so michael let me know how you're feeling so far he added it to the list wonderful wonderful <clears throat> financial group uh, I don't think this is a bank whenever there's like a sponsor you might want to skip over those they paid a lot of money to be on page one of Google chances are their product isn't as good as their marketing same with Navy Fed Century Federal Credit Union let's check them out go here signature loan that's typically where we will find the line of credit boom personal line of credit slash overdraft protection. Looks like they have credit line up to 35K. Our personal line of credit is a revolving line of credit that operates much like a credit card, allowing you to instantly access cash up to $35,000. You can also use the fund. All right. <clears throat> as low as 11%. So 11%, I'm going to put this on the list, Michael, because of the simple fact that the credit line is a little bit more. This applies for the signature as of 611. So that's only a couple days ago, so that's still pretty fresh, right? So let's just add them to the list for now. What's the name of this bank again? Century, okay? So I'm just writing it on my board. Century Credit Union, all right. <clears throat> the Ohio Educational Credit Union. Let's check them out. Loans and credit cards, always gonna be on the personal loans. Notice how they never market the personal line of credit. Isn't that insane? Let's look at line of credit it's always at the bottom no annual fee banking let's click on rates let's see if it shows it we're going to cancel them out they don't qualify All right because in our research so far we have better options right michael so no sense in wasting your time calling this particular bank because we already have better options we have an 11 we have a 10 so we don't need to add a 14 on there here we go let's let's assume Michael's a police officer. I'd be willing to bet if Michael was a police officer or is a police officer, I would probably have him looking at banks that cater to him. And so I'm gonna look, I got the HELOC, but do they have personal loan? This site looks very cheesy, but that's how it is with these smaller banks. They don't have the best marketing. They don't have the best websites. They don't have the best anything, right? They typically, they just, they just don't, but they're 
HELOCs and PLOCs are, are phenomenal. And they're just like under the radar. No one knows about these things. So I would only put this on your list, Michael, if you are a police officer. Probably not worth it because they probably only accept police officers or family members that have police officers. That's typically how that works. We got a bank called Cleveland Self-Reliance Credit Union. I'm just gonna keep looking until I find a personal line of credit, right? That's the goal. I found you one at 10, but <clears throat> home equity line of credit, 4.75%. That must be an intro rate. Stopped at the sponsors, not kept going through here. Noteworthy Federal Credit Union. Uh, not seeing anything on this bank, so we'll get out of here, won't waste time. Let's say Michael is a firefighter. So we got Firefighters Community Credit Union. Let's see what they got. Personal loan, signature, loan, vehicle, home equity, line of credit, seven year draw, 8.5%. Okay, all right. It doesn't look like they offer PLOC at Firefighters. Faith Community United. Sometimes those spiritual faith banks, sometimes they got some stuff. I mean, look how bad these websites are. You would never know where to go. 11.99 APR fixed. Okay. Still not quite where I want it, Michael, man. I'm looking. I'm looking. Still not quite where I want it. I'm gonna find me something. <clears throat> we go through this whole list and let's say we don't find a personal line of credit below 10%. Then that's when I start looking statewide and nationwide. That and only then. Certificate accounts, shared accounts, da da da. Oh, close. Look at that. I'm finding something really good here. Oh no, that's a home equity loan. See what happens when you don't read between the lines? <clears throat> Make a mistake. So far I've been finding some good HELOCs. HELOCs are a little bit harder. You gotta do a little more research. But if we're timing me right now, we've been at it for what, 10, 15 minutes? When I'm on coaching calls with clients, we might spend 30 minutes or so. If it, you know, what's an hour of research worth to you? To find the best product. I'm not seeing anything at St. Coleman. Let's do not seeing line of credit. Let's see. Lat Latvian. Lat signature. 11.99. So far that 10% was the winner at uh, Steel Valley, man. Steel Valley seems to be get, wanting my money. Unity Catholic Federal Credit Union. Let's see what the Catholics are doing. See if they got anything for us. Let's see if they know the game. Pretty sure they do. I'm not seeing with Catholic. Unfortunately, probably have a HELOC though. Here's what no one ever does. They go to page two of Google. Go to page two. Buckeye. I feel, I feel lucky with Buckeye. Let's see what Buckeye got. Personal, ugh, 10.75, so close. Mmm. When they don't show their rates, sometimes that could be good. You gotta call and ask. I would put Buckeye on the list. It was 10.75 for their personal loan, but we didn't see if they had a line of credit. Let's look at All Saints. Back to the Catholics. Let's see what's going on. See if they know what's up. Wireman's Credit Union. Personal and revolving. Might want to put this on your list. Wireman's Credit Union. Might want to put this on your list. They don't show it, so we would have to call and ask. So I'm going to write that down. Wireman's. Worth considering. Keep going, man. Best reward. Federal Credit Union. Let's see if they give us the best reward. Look at that. Call for details. 0.5%. Yeah. So it seems to be that in Cleveland, Ohio, 10% looks like the lowest. So then here's what I do. Personal line of credit, revolving line of credit, percent APR. Now, unfortunately, it's going to bring up my location. Well, let's do in Ohio, West Info. Is this valuable? Like just doing this together? Let me know if this is helpful because I think a lot of people struggle with this and their velocity banking. I'm just showing you what I'm doing, what I'm paying attention to, how I'm finding this stuff, right? Let me let me take it back. Let me see what's going on in the comments. Hayden Zell, what credit cards work best for convenient checks or that can transfer to my checking account? So basically any credit card that has or offers the convenience check option. So before you apply for the credit card, you would ask them if you can do convenience checks and it falls and if it falls under the zero percent offer big banks and small banks do offer that all right um we'll go up to the top if i have a smaller line of credit how would i calculate a chunk payment if the line of credit doesn't cover the total debt i want to address right so for you kaylin in that example whenever you have a line of credit that is small so let's say we have a small line of credit then our strategy is micro, don't do velocity banking. That's an option. You're not gonna hear every velocity banking guru say this, but I'm not gonna be the guy, I'm not gonna play that game that tries to force velocity banking into every situation. I'm not gonna do that. 
Caitlin. That's not how I operate. There might be other velocity banking people that want to do that, but chances are your line of credit is probably in the double digits. I'd be willing to bet. It's typically what it is. Those smaller lines tend to be double digit ones. And if it makes sense, according to what we're trying to hit, a micro chunk, right? Or if it's as small as three to 5K, and let's say your income is more than the credit limit on your line of credit, then we have justification to do the whole, to borrow the whole credit limit on that line because your income would be bringing it right back to zero and then slowly increasing the balance throughout the month and then it replenishes and then slowly increases and replenishes. So you're never really paying a whole lot of money in interest, right? <clears throat> that is my response to Kaylin. For those of you that also have small lines of credits, um, micro chunking. So that's when you Let's say you had a, a $30,000 car note, you have a small P-lock, small credit card, and you want to do a balance transfer, you want to make a chunk, right? If your income is higher than the line of credit, and we have justification to borrow the whole amount, granted, we do have positive cash flow already, preferably of $500 or more is what I would like to see, okay? So I would like to see 500 or more. And if your income higher than line of credit toward the debt that you're trying to, but let's also run the numbers and make sure what it is that you're trying to pay off. If you're trying to pay off a 3% car loan on a 13.49% line of credit PLOC, that, that just may not make sense. So we also want to do the math and run it on what would $500 a month extra payments on the 3%, what would that result look like compared to 13.49% PLOC, right? So let's also be aware that velocity banking doesn't work in every situation and it doesn't have to, and that's okay. That's okay, right? 